there, a cunning trap.
shall be done. And then, it was over. With the Archdemon dead, the Darkspawn Horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. But the Blight had been ended before it had truly begun. Elden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its new king and queen. Grey Warden stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. But at what cost? My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn Siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. 
the one who led the final charge against the Archdemon, remains with us still. An inspiration to all he saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the hero of Ferelden. The first Grey Warden to defeat the Blight since Gadahel four centuries ago. My friend, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return. Is there any boon that you might request of Ferelden's king? If it is within my power, I will grant it. Absolutely. The dwarves face the dark spawn every day, don't they? Ferelden hereby offers its full military support to the new king of Orzammar, and will aid in reclaiming the deep roads. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Hau, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? Well, I didn't want to come right out and say it, but I'm relieved you'll be in your power. Uh, there's a group of Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you're ready. So, we made it. I'm impressed, aren't you? The odds were completely against one of us actually getting to the Archdemon. But of course you would make it. I knew you would. I just don't understand how you're still alive. I guess Riordan was wrong? I had no idea. I suppose that makes sense. Speaking of Morrigan, do you know where she went? I'm told she vanished right after the battle. No goodbyes or anything. Very dramatic. I don't imagine she'd be easy to find if she didn't want to be. Uh, at any rate, I can see Arleman giving me that look. More King stuff, I suppose. I can never wait. And if I don't get the chance some other time, thanks for everything. I know, but I'm King now. I'll let you get to your adoring public. How incredible that it survived. It has exceeded my expectations. <laughs> Apparently not. Thankfully, it appears to be the exception when it comes to its kind. Otherwise, I might be forced to revise my opinion completely. But it is time for me to find my own way. Its quest is done now, and thus it is less interesting than before. Perhaps I will meet it once again in its travels, or perhaps not. Either way, I wish it well. It is over. I can barely believe it. You stopped the civil war and then defeated the Blight. On behalf of Ferelden, allow me to say thank you. It truly cannot be said enough. It's good that you're staying here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden will have influence, and there is much to be done. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems well enough, and Isold refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I cannot thank you enough for saving them. They are the joy of my existence. Tell me, have you noticed anything strange about the lad? He seems quiet. Ah, you are no doubt correct. It, but here I am, rambling on. A Grey Warden, and now a hero too? A bit different from the slums, huh? Ha! <laughs> I'm his concubine. 
but it's a comfortable position anyhow. I'll give you that. Mother swore off drinking when she heard about what you did. She's been sober ever since, <laughs> and as ill as a fell cat in water. I should tell you, the assembly actually sent me here. Officially, I'm an ambassador. <laughs> Can you imagine? Me. Apparently, miracles abound these days. They want me to tell you that you're free to return to Orzammar. They've made you a full citizen. Technically, you're warrior caste. I don't know, but they did. Of course, that means Mother has risen up too. She's been lording it over all her friends, calling them lowly peasants. I hear they're considering making you a paragon, statue and everything. Not bad, brother. Not bad at all. Anyhow, I intend to get back to sampling this human wine. I'd like to forget that there's a giant sky up there. How they live up here? I'll never know. So here we are. The conquering hero has won the day, and now he takes his bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. And my part was small. I'm happy to watch you receive the accolades, it's quite fun. You know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you, and look what you did. I've been asked by the Chantry to return to the Urn of Sacred Ashes. I need to make sure it's protected. Maybe pilgrims can even begin going there again. I expect to leave a month from now with a small army of Templars and priests. It will be a grand adventure of my very own, I'm looking forward to it. At any rate, you should get back to the celebration. We can speak another time. I will be relieved when all this pomp and ceremony is done. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins, after all. I can't help but expect the cross to appear at any moment. Which would be a welcome break, mind you. You see? This is why I like you. Always game for a little fun. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker. While fun, that might eventually get complicated. You said earlier that you are planning on remaining here. Is that true? And would you be in favor of my remaining with you? I've grown fond of you, you see. Sad, but true. Now that's a request I would be hard-pressed to refuse. So I won't. <laughs> so let the crows come. It will make for fun times and interesting party talk, yes? Well then, since I am sticking around, I suppose we'll have plenty of time to speak later, yes? So go on and get paraded about. It's fun to watch. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on you and make sure no one gets a clear shot. Not without paying me a great deal of coin, anyhow. The hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? Alistair's idea, I understand. <laughs> Which should explain much. But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? I don't think many heroes ever do. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter, but I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to accept a position here at court. There's not been a mage advising the throne for a very long time. I understand you are remaining in Denerim, so we will likely see each other a great deal. I look forward to it. For now, I imagine the hero of Ferelden still has much to do. Good luck. Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. The, the ale up here is actually good. Orzammar ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. Go figure. 
<sighs> For now. They may have already branded me a surfacer back home anyhow. Well, that pot-bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I aim to prove him wrong. Very likely. Though, if I'm passed out drunk, I may not see you. <laughs> it's been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. They call you Hero. I have not heard it used before, but I think I understand the intent. The Arishak, on occasion, has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however, a death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Vel would be too proud. Of course you would say that. What the human custom has in common with our own is that the declaration of a Kunoran Vale is a cause for much celebration. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. It is interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. There may even be executions. I suppose I should tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. But the blight is done. It must be said, you gave me the chance to redeem my honor, and now it is done. I owe you a debt. Some debts cannot be discarded. There will come a time when I will return, and then it shall be done. Perhaps we shall meet again. Should it be in battle, I will not seek you out, Parahidon Warden. Are you ready, my lord? The crowds outside are getting restless. Let me... As you say. Are you ready, my lord? The crowd... Just put in an appearance, I so end. I'm supposed to take you to your escort. Full brigade, their armor all shined up and everything. They're really honored to be guarding you, let me tell you. Right. I'll take you there now. Follow me.